taking in the moment, whatever it may be, you know. Thanks. When you think about what Iowa did passing wise in the second half, especially, did they expose anything on your defense or was that just a kind of a some circumstances or did they hit some big plays? Or uh, I think what, they what hit a lot. Think, what do you think? They took a they took some shots downfield. I think they uh they they took some shots, you know. I mean that's they made some plays. They made plays that, you know, great receiver, great quarterback, uh, some you know, a lot of great players on that team, and they just they were making plays. They were uh, they caught a groove uh, against our defense, um, and uh, we, uh, you know, for how it went, I felt like we uh, were playing to the best with the calls that we were uh, playing with, and just how the situation was. You know, it was a tight game. They were catching you know a lot of morale. They, they got the ball and they were driving downfield, catching shot after shot, gadget plays, and you know, and that just um, complimented them because they have a lot of good players on the team that made those plays. You know what I mean? They um, they, they schemed us, like I said um, before. They have uh, guys on scholarship too. You know, they got coaches that are paid too. So, I mean, that's just expected. I mean, uh, they're a great football team, so we didn't let that phase us at any point, uh, whether it was you know five minutes left in the game or in the first quarter. There were people after the game on Saturday that said that was the most physical game they ever played in. How, how much is it ramped up during weeks like Minnesota and weeks like Iowa as far as the hitting on the field? Uh, it's always a big boy fight when it comes to uh, Iowa, Minnesota, teams like that. I mean, it's always because there's always a lot of uh, people put forth you know, 100% investment into these games. And, um, and at, at this point, how it is this year and just the way it up, the records work out in the division. Um, everyone's playing for something, you know, and you can't overlook anybody because every team is good, you know. I mean, shoot, Iowa was really good. Minnesota's really good. Um, and it just so happens that we came out on top for two points, you know, excellent play, um, excellent plays by the offense at that last drive to, to keep it alive. Um, but um, it's always a big boy fight whenever – we play Iowa, Minnesota, and you could pick anyone in the Big Ten, and it's just always a dogfight.